Hey guys, so um, I thought I'd just show you like what I do when I've obviously washed my hair and whatnot. Um, I've just got out of the shower and normally when I'm in the shower I always use a like a plastic wide tooth comb just to like uh, brush through the conditioner because I find it that my hair comes out better if it's been brushed with this. And then, no, because I've got quite thick hair it doesn't, it does kind of go through my hair a little bit once it's starting to dry. But normally I use something like this. I think, I don't know what this is, I think it's, oh this is a Tresemme brush, it's got like ball bristles and plastic bristle, bristles, so I just kind of run that through. Is I just pop a bit of this and this is running out a bit. This is just the Aussie Miracle Condition Insurance and I just spray that. I spray the squirts in my eye. Um, and then I just push that through. As you can see, my roots are pretty, um, pretty dark. Um, it's because I haven't used um, the sheer blonde for a while, so I thought I might as well um, put some in now. So what I do is I just squirt some on the roots, and then I just put it in my fingers like that. And then a bit at the back, where your crown is, because obviously you can't see it, but people can. And then I kind of just brush that down. I don't put it all over my hair now, because obviously my hair's quite blonde. Um, so it doesn't need to be put all over. And then I brush my hair back. Oh, so knotty. And I just put it around the hairline. Rub that in. So obviously, when you tie your hair back, it's gonna have it's gonna be blonde around the hairline, not like a dark blonde. If you get me, I do the same with this one. Just brush this back a bit. Um, and I haven't had highlights done in about eight months. And they would, my roots probably about round down to here by now, but all I've been using is that and it's been so good. Um, so I just put that in and just rub it in. You can put, I don't know, it doesn't actually say like how much you should squirt into your hair, it just says squirt into your hair and this will it'll do such and such. But I always make sure I put quite a bit on the roots because obviously they need lifting quite a lot. And I want it obviously to become. Not block blonde, but obviously I want it to blend in. Even if my roots are a bit dark, I don't want them to be like really dark. And then I just, um, I just, um, blah, 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 blah. I just hair dry. That's one. Hair dry my hair, um, and I just concentrate it like along my hairline, my crown, and around my um, what's it called? Hairline. I don't tend to brush my hair because that makes my hair really, really frizzy. I just kind of, I just try to um, run my fingers through it. Because I find that way it gets all the knots out, makes it dry, the hair easy and it doesn't become as frizzy. So I'll just go do that. Hey guys, so I'm back and I've just blow dried like the top of my hair. Um, I don't tend to do it all the way down because I find that it, it really damages your hair if you go further down with it. And I try to use as less heat as possible. Um, so I just obviously put the hair dryer where it actually needs the heat because it this product says you need heat to um, like activate the bleach and whatnot which it's got inside it. So I just put it along there. Um, so that's nice and um, dry now. And then normally at the ends, um, I just put a little bit of um, what's it called? It's Aussie Dual Personality Color Hair Protection and Shine Serum. I put maybe two drops in my hand, rub it in, and I just put it along the bottoms. And obviously, since I've had it cut, I kind of like want to take care of them more. Obviously, keep them in as best condition as possible. Also, the the um, the no, that's the wrong one. This one says you can like straighten your hair afterwards, but I think blow drying your full head and then 
straining all your hair it's just going to leave it in absolute rubbish condition and this can obviously dry out a bit because it does have bleach in it so I think you've just got to put a bit lots of conditioner and make sure you keep your hair nice and healthy and like not moisturised but give it moisture because it can dry out so I just put that in like that and then I leave it then um, or I I braid it so I French braid it or I just like I say I just leave it um, and it just dries naturally and I obviously my hair dries with like a curl so and then I just do that and if I want to straighten it I'll straighten it like the next day just so it's got like it's not got so much heat on it all the time um, so yeah that's how I um, like do my hair after I've had a shower um, I've got pictures as well of me using this for ages and I'll show you like the roots um, on that picture and it, it's got no roots whatsoever so this product is so good it's awesome um, and that's about it um, I hope this is helpful um, I know it's kind of a random video but yeah um, I'll see you guys in my next video see you later bye oh and also one more thing before I go um, the uh, blonding spray, this one, um, you've got to make sure you use it at least a couple of times. Um, it says, I think it's three to five uses and you'll see a difference. Well, I definitely saw a difference between, I think, about the fourth use and then the fifth use. And then as you get more, your, your hair will start to go blonder and blonder and blonder. So it's kind of not a one-step thing. You've got to persevere in it and it'll definitely work out for you. I absolutely love this product and I'll always keep on buying this now rather than... I will get highlights, like, every so often just to, like, put different colours through my hair. But this will be, like, my, my staple product and I'll definitely buy this. And make sure you get it when it's on... When John Frieda do, I think it's... Two for, two for seven pound or two for seven pound fifty or something because these are normally about seven pound for one bottle and when they're on offer you can get two bottles for seven pounds so make sure you look out for that in boots and that so yeah um, I hope this video was helpful um, and I'll see you in my next one see you later